Hello class, Professor Anderson here. This Monday, August 21st, there's going to be an eclipse passing across much of North America. And if you're in San Diego, you'll see about 50% of the sun covered by the moon. If you're in San Francisco, you'll see about 75% covered. And if you're in Salem, Oregon, 100% of the sun will be covered. It will be in total darkness for about two minutes. But the rest of the country will see a partial solar eclipse, and it'll last about two hours. So how do you look at a partial solar eclipse without hurting your eyes? First, you do not stare directly at the sun, ever, okay? That will definitely damage your eyes. But what you can do is you can image it onto a piece of paper. I picked up a simple magnifying glass from Walmart for about five bucks. And if you take this and you image it onto a card, you can see the image of the sun right on the card. But one thing you notice is it's really very bright. And in fact, if I move it over to the other side and I focus onto this little dark patch on the paper, we can get it to catch on fire. That's a little too hot. There's an easy remedy for this. Take a sheet of tinfoil about this big, punch a hole in it with a pencil, and now wrap this over your lens. You've now made yourself a camera with a small aperture to let in less light. Let's see how the image looks on the card now. When I go in and out with the card, the sun goes in and out of focus. Wherever it's smallest and has sharp edges, that's the focal point, and that's how you want to view your solar eclipse. And on Monday morning, you'll be able to see the eclipse right in front of you. So happy viewing, everyone. Cheers.